Welcome to Mount Vernon Rams Baseball on WMIX and WMIXSports.com, where you can listen from any device. Rams Baseball from WMIX Sports is powered by the official voice of Rams Athletics, Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Rams Baseball is also sponsored in part by the Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon, Ford Square in King City Chrysler. You can count on us. Red Lake College. Save thousands on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital. Raising the bar. Winning Edge. Schmidt Ford of Salem. And also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem. Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. All Stars and Stitches. Central Christian Church and People's National Bank. Play ball. It's time to join Chris Hugo and Danny Zerwinski for Mount Vernon Rams Baseball from the Ford Square WMIX Sports Mobile Studios. The Landers Collision Center's pregame show starts now. The second of a three-game series in St. Clair County brings us to Whitey Herzog Field in Belleville. Good afternoon, Chris Hugo with you today. For the Mountain and Rams and the Altop Crusaders in South Seven Conference baseball action. WYX, WYXSports.com. So glad to have you with us. Don't forget you can follow us on Twitter at WYX Sports. This is your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Big or small, Landers fixes the ball. Call 1 888 Landers. That's 1 888 Landers. The Rams are warming up right now at Whitey Herzog Field in the Citizens Park in Belleville. We'll take a quick break, get warmed up ourselves on a cold Tuesday afternoon. From St. Clair County. This is Rams Baseball from WIX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. By now, you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244 3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer. Member FDIC. Registration for summer classes at Rindley College is going on now. The eight-week summer term is a great chance to catch up on classes you need, from general education to electives and more. Curious about starting college or even a little nervous? Summer is a good time for new students to find out what Rindley College can do for you. Registration for summer classes continues through June 6. Call us at 618-437-5321 or find us online at rlc.edu. Rindley College, your journey starts here. Whether it's Mother Nature's inability to decide on a season, a weekend that got a little out of hand, or just life, there's always something looking to damage your vehicle. This is Chase Landers from Landers Collision Centers. Maybe winter weather turned your full-size sedan into a compact, or a little hail has your truck looking like Swiss cheese. Perhaps a deer decided to go for a ride on your hood, or maybe your truck is missing its hitch and bumper after pulling your little brother out of the ditch last weekend. Did a bad breakup leave a little graffiti on your SUV? We hope not, but we've seen it all, and we certainly don't judge. Whatever mess life has created for your vehicle, we'll clean it up. As a direct repair facility for many insurance companies, we take care of just about everything, even getting you into a temporary vehicle while we restore yours. That's the Landers difference. Top to bottom, big or small, Landers fixes them all. Come see us in Mount Vernon and Salem and ask us about free detailing for the life of your vehicle or call 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. Streaming worldwide at WMIXSports.com. This is Mount Vernon Rams Baseball from WMIX Sports. And welcome you back to Wadi Herzog Field from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios. This is your Landers Collision Center Spring Game Show. Danny Zerwinski on assignment today. I'm Chris Shuko. Holly Carroll is back in our Mount Vernon studio as the Mount Vernon Rams prepare for the outdoor Crusaders. Rams in the midst of a three-game winning streak with an 8-6-1 and one mark on the year. 1-1 one and one in the South Seventh Conference. While the Crusaders are a perfect 2-0 and with wins over Centroia 5-2 and Marion 4-1. It's been a decent season to start for the Crusaders. They are 10-2 and on the year. Beat a pretty good Mascuda team early in the season by a 3-1 margin. Swept the double header with Redbud. That beat New Athens and Valmar, of course, this year as well. A close loss with Collinsville. Their other loss, of course, actually was Mascuda. My apologies. A very good Mascuda team. Back in late March. Of course, today the Rams return to a place where they had their lone conference tie a year ago. 
causing them an 8-1-1 one, and one mark. But thankfully, they took care of business last year, as we remember, against the Carbondale Terriers at home, won the conference title for a fourth consecutive year, and now looking to get a big win in conference play. For the Crusaders have yet to lose in the conference, we told you. 2-0 mark coming in, wins over Marion and Centralia. That Marion win stands out a 4-1 to margin. Rams lost to Marion just a week ago, 1-0. In a game that saw a home run in the top of the first, but not much else, and probably overshadowed the great Rams pitching from that particular day. Landers Collision Centers, 1-888 Landers, that's one triple eight Landers. Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem, of course, with expanded collision repair facilities. Check them out, Mount Vernon and Salem, or online at LandersAuto.com. The Rams, of course, are wrapping up their infield practice. We'll get started here momentarily. We'll also get to know your page insurance starting lineup slash batting orders as we meet the Mount Vernon Rams here in just a moment. Call Page Agency for a quote. It's a health quote even at 242-7000. Or log on to pageinsurance.net. So blessed to be with you today from Whitey Herzog Field. The dimensions here are 320 down the line, 350 in the gaps, and about 400 is straight away center field. It's also where the American Legion team here in Belleville, the Hill Guards, play during the summer. So the Crusaders fall home during the spring. They go to grass not quite out of its dormant state. It's in Bermuda grass. It looks a little bit like it's still winter, and it feels more like winter today, late winter, with some of these temperatures we're battling across the region today. We'll get started here in just a moment. We'll tell you the forecast throughout the game here this afternoon. This game will be presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Remember, at the IC, of course, you can ask about that one account. It's free checking and high-yield interest. Only at Community First Bank of the Heartland again. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Taking a look at the weather forecast in just a moment. It's, it's a chilly afternoon. The sun's shining brightly on the field here at Whitey Herzog Park. But thankfully, shouldn't be too much of a factor on the game. I know one of the causes for concern, not, not just the dormant grass, but some of the clubs of live grass that are intimately mixed in with the dormant grass. We'll see if that causes any awkward hops. I know they've been going after some of these clubs and trying to see what types of hops that they will get. So we will find out as the game goes along. So glad to be with you. Don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter, at WMAX Sports. We're on Facebook as well. It'll be 46 degrees when we get underway here. And, of course, we should have some tall winds by comparison to Brennan Kleinfield. We'll be out of the northwest at about 9 miles per hour. So 46 winds at about 9. Should be interesting day at the ballpark. No flags to really gauge. There it is. Straight away center field. I mean, we'll see it through the fence. It is blowing out toward a right field, but not a very stiff flag which means not very brisk wind. So they should be a little bit calmer here today. The mouth of the Rams, the out top Crusaders are coming up in just a moment. Of course, this will take care of your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Bigger, small Landers fixes them all. Of course, your page insurance batting order for the Rams will start Ryan Campbell, the lead-off spot at shortstop. The second baseman, Reed Millwood, will bat second. Thomas Weber, the catcher, bats third. Jake Pike, the first baseman in the cleanup spot. The pitcher, Brock Fulkerson, will actually bat fifth. Zach Giants moves up a spot to number six in left field. Their case, that seventh to third base will be Connor Story and right field batting eighth. And a center fielder, Blake Jones, will bat ninth to round out the Rams' spotting order. Ooh, batting order. We'll see Austin Keene on the hill today for the Crusaders. You'll have Eric Mertens doing the catching. Jake Fisher, Grant Streaker, Luke Frazier, and hand camera from third to first. With Sam Aldrich, Colin McClellan, not Kyle, Colin McClellan, and Connor O'Dell in the outfield. From left to right for the Crusaders. Of course, we're glad to have you at WMIXSports.com. Also with us on WMIX Mount Vernon as we near the bottom of the hour as we'll get started here probably a couple of minutes early as we await the Crusaders to take their spots out there on the field defensively. We see some last-minute warm-ups, of course, for the Rams, who, as we told you, are in the middle of a three-game winning streak. Wins, of course, over Belleville East, Carbondale, and they got a big rebound, went over the West Frankfurt Redbirds on the road a week ago. But three-game winning streak for the Rams are first in the season. It also marks the first time that they have been two games above 500. Of course, when they got back above 500, they represented the only time the Rams have been above 500 all season long. We're going to keep that going today against an Alphop team. We told you only two losses on the year, 1-4 to four, eight Collins to 8-7. And then 1-3 to three, eight Mascuda. The Mascuda team has started off the season like world beaters, undefeated. The Simpson have lost a couple along the way. Mascuda now just 11 and 2. It's a strange coincidence there. The Rams also lost Mascuda, but only on the schedule, as they were supposed to be in Mascuda today to take on the Indians in a tough Mississippi Valley Conference team. But because of this being a conference rain date in the first one on the schedule, this team had to be played on this date. So the Rams lose that one with the Indians. So if there's any confusion there, the Rams are supposed to be here in Belleville, originally scheduled to be in Mascuda, but here. 
making up a conference contest on a chilly Tuesday afternoon. Again, we told you about 46 degrees will be your first pitch temperature. Winds will be out of the northwest about 9 most of the afternoon as we will get this one in. There a chance of precipitation. It's about 10%. So not much of a chance here, and the weather outlook only gets better going into the weekend when the Rams will head to Paducah on Friday and Saturday. But before that, they have a tough matchup with Cahokia Comanches on Thursday. We'll have that game for you from Stone Jay Field Thursday afternoon. 4.15 will be your first pitch. Or 4.15 your pregame, 4.30 your first pitch. Right here on WYX and WYXSports.com. We appreciate the hospitality, of course, of Alsoff coach Brett Isaacs, who took care of us before the game, giving us the roster and the lineup cards. But a great friend of the Saturday Sports Show. We appreciate everything that he does for us. Anytime that we make the trek to Belleville, we'll bring you these games from beautiful Whitey Herzog Field within the Citizens Park here in downtown Belleville. So that said, we'll get underway in just a moment. Say about all of our sponsors throughout the broadcast. Say about upcoming Rams games that you'll find on your home for every pitch of Rams baseball on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. So the Crusaders will take the field. Wearing white pants with navy stripes, and of course, they will have their gold socks with navy numerics trimmed in white. Rams, of course, will be in their gray pants. They'll have black tops on, orange trim, and orange numerics trimmed in white. Community First Bank of Ireland, don't forget about that one checking. It's free checking and high yield interest. One means more at the five years in county branches of Community First Bank of the Heartland, Mount Vernon, Dix, Woodlawn, and Ina. So, not too far from wherever you may be listening within the confines of Jefferson County. Well, we're about an hour away here at Belleville at Whitey Herzog Field for Citizens Park. About to get underway as Austin Keene takes his warm-up pitches. He's taking the hill today. The right-hander looks like he has a bit of pop on the fastball, a nice assortment of breaking stuff. Maybe about a three-pitch pitcher as we take a look at things during the initial warm-up series. We head to the top half of the first inning. So we'll get started in just a moment. The umpires wrapping up conversations with the coaches as they take care of some things. Of course, a number adjustment on the roster for the Crusaders. Of course, a forgotten jersey means the one kid. That's there. Of course, a forgotten jersey means the one young man. Actually, we'll have to wear Coach Isaac's jersey today. So we'll see how that all plays out. We'll see how this first at bat plays out. As the Rams will set up Ryan Campbell, Reed Millwood, and Thomas Weber to start in this top half of the first today as we get underway with South Seven Conference action for the Mount Vernon Rams. 8-6-1 and one are the Rams, 1-1 one and one in conference play. 2-0 and oh in conference play are the Crusaders looking to improve upon that 10-2 and two mark. And we'll see how things go for Althoff and tell you where they head. As we know, the Rams head to Cahokia on Thursday to continue in conference play. So we await the first pitch. We'll come out of the windup from the right-hander, Keene. At 4.26 p.m., and it will be a strike right down the heart of the plate. Or Ryan Campbell falls behind here, nothing to one. Everybody at normal depth as we're just in the way. Top of the first, no score yet as the 0 1 pitch comes high. We'll leave things up to Campbell. One ball, one strike. Of course, always great defensively and a decent day at the plate. Scored a run in the win against Belleville East. Of course, this is the second straight trip to Belleville for the Rams. Is that going to be a line drive? Ooh, nice range from the second baseman. Frazier will fire over the first, not in time. That was off of the glove of Keem, the pitcher, deflected Frazier, who played wide receiver for the Crusaders on the football team. Wasn't able to come up with a play of that side. We did have a nice grab, but that'll be an infield single for Ryan Campbell. To bring up Reed Millwood, the runner on. And nobody out here in the top of the scoreless first inning as we're just in way, about a minute into this one. Between the Rams and the Crusaders, as Keem will pitch out the stretch for the first time. And Millwood shows not. Drops it down a beauty down the first base line. Some confusion there. The catch will be the one to get it. Barely out of the first base will be Millwood on the sacrifice. But I'll actually go down as 2-3. It looked like the pitcher decided to back up the play. Not quite the angle. Catcher, of course, Eric Burks had a better look at it. Fired on down the first to get the out. But down to second base on the sacrifice will go Ryan Campbell. And that brings in Thomas Weber. Reach one down the line. Three in the gaps. 400 straightaway center. We want out a runner in scoring position here for the catcher. Thomas Weber, the first pitch you'll see will be a curve that broke low, and it looks like it'll be a 1-0 count to start for Thomas. Dick Pike on deck for the Rams. An RBI chance here already in the top of the first. No score yet, one in. A runner aboard for the Rams. It's Keen. Decided to look the runner back to second base, Ryan Campbell. Rams will have Cahokia on the road Thursday before traveling to the McCracken County Invitational. That will be in Paducah this weekend. It's an invitational because you're invited to play, not technically a tournament. I don't believe they hand out any trophies. 
Everybody doesn't play everybody. There's no bracket, nothing like that. Rams get three quality opponents. Memphis, U High, Henderson County, Kentucky, and Bartlett, Tennessee is the 1 0 counts. Not in that order, though, as that's checked foul. And it'll be 1 and 1 to Thomas Weber. Actual order of the opponents will be the Memphis, U High Owls, followed by the Bartlett Panthers. Then on Saturday, the Rams will get the Henderson County Colonels. We'll have all those games for you here on WMIX and WMIXSports.com as we wait the 1 1 to Weber. Here comes Curveball inside for a strike. And it'll be 1 and 2. A beautiful pitch from Keith. That's some movement early, but a Rams looking for some movement here on the base pad with a runner in scoring position and one out for Weber. It's an RBI chance at the top of the first and a chance to maybe get something going here early. It's a one, two, nope, not going to happen. Be checking on the runner. And Campbell will go back to second base without a throw. So walking in back with the pitcher Keane, who's back out of the stretch. One of two Keens on the club, of course, this is Austin. Rory also on the squad. He's a sophomore as this pitcher will get up and away. Two and two to Weber with Pike on deck. Rams have tomorrow off. Let's get three games in between Friday and Saturday this Easter weekend. See what happens on the 2-2. Busy week. Next week, curveball low, and it looks like it's going to be a full count now to Weber. Three balls, two strikes, one out, a runner aboard. Gage are just joined us here in the top half of the first inning. No score yet, but that could change with one swing of the bat. The inner fielder is straight away. The left fielder probably closer to the line than I would be, I guess, the power right bat, but... Full count. This is going to break outside, and that will put two aboard. So runners on first and second for Pike, who, much like Weber, has been stinging the ball here in this 2014 season. Courtesy runner, probably going to be Zach Brookman in place of Connor Story, because Connor Story is out right field today. We get to know the Rams defensively in the bottom half of the first. It'll be the first base with Pike, a left handed bat in Atlanta, who ran lineup with two aboard and one out in this top half of the first. Keen will be out of the stretch as it is the bottom of the hour here on WIX Mount Vernon. A free service from Withers Broadcast. Two on, one out. Jake Pike, the lefty, working against the right handed pitcher, Austin King. Here comes. That will be a fastball foul back. Well, fitter one to Pike with Fulkerson on deck. Rocco gets a start today. Got a win in conference play last week. It's a 2 0 with a win over the Cardinal Terriers. Of course, Thomas Weber, who's on first base, got the save. It marks his first of the season. Up and in one to Jake. Went two on and one out. The top the first. No score yet. Here from Belleville. Bain a check on the runner at second. And, of course, Coach Isaac knows the aggressiveness of the Rams on the base pass. These two teams have battled it out many a time since they've both been in the South 7 together. Up and in one to count here. One gone, two aboard for the Rams in the top half of the first. We wait to see what happens. Here it comes. That was intended to jam Pike. He'll fight it off. It's foul over the backstop. Nothing at two. Beautiful park they have in Belleville. It's in Citizens Park. It's Whitey Herzog Field. It's a wonderful facility, of course. The nice wood facade, and then you have the stadium seating with concrete board. So it would be nice to see maybe Mount Vernon have one day. As the 0-2 comes, go this high. Good waste pitch. One ball, two strikes to Pike. Try to get you some score updates throughout the afternoon. Presented by your state farm agent of Mount Vernon, Tony Wilt. As we await the 1 2 offering to Pike. Here it comes with the 1 out. It's going to be high. The count will be even 2 2. You can find Tony in Mount Vernon, of course, also online at tonywilt.com. Try to find out why State Farm Jeep around town, as Tony will get you to a better state. That's the State Farm advantage. Two balls, two strikes, two aboard, one out for Jake Pike. Here it comes. He'll take high. That one sailed away. It's 3 and 2. Rock Fulkerson in the on deck circle. Rams looking to get to 2 and 1. Try to nudge a tie atop that South Seven Conference as Altoff, the lone undefeated team. Here it comes. Pike will put it in the air. It's going to shift left. Should get out of play at the third baseman. will give chase. It won't quite get there, but nor could the left fielder or the third baseman. Andrews and Fisher, respectively. We'll do it again on a full count to Pike. Three balls, two strikes, one out, two aboard here in the top of the first. Rams trying to get a big inning going. If they can't jump out on top of the Crusaders, a team that they have struggled with historically, seems to always be a player for the dramatic in one of these games, whether it be a Brennan Klein or Whitey Herzog, as we wait the full count to Pike. Do it again, it's high. And so just like that, with one out, the bases are walked loaded. And this will be up to Brock Fulkerson, so Fitcher can help out his case. But the base is crammed at the top of the first. So Martins will have a conversation with his pitcher, Keen. 
here that's all Lanky Fulkerson can do. Slated as of now to go to Red Lake College to be a warrior next fall. Presumably pitch for the Warriors. If he can be a hitter here at the high school level with bases loaded, one out, top one. Rams have no runs thus far on one hit. The back-to-back walks issued by Keene, and now a chance for Fulkerson. Keene out of the lineup, and this one's going to be hammered. Pass the diving first base for hand camera, and the score will be Campbell. Way held up at third base, Whipple B. Zach Brooklyn, and that is a line drive RBI single by Fulkerson. He kind of jokingly told us prior to the season, whenever we saw him messing with the bat, that he could hit a little bit. Apparently he wasn't kidding, as it'll be a one nothing Ram lead here to start things off. So a guy who sits the ball well and late has been Zach Giants. Of course, he had a phenomenal performance on the road at East. With two singles and a double, he had an RBI and two runs scored in that 7-2 win. So we'll see what the amateur Chris Carpenter look alike to do here with the bases loaded one out and the Rams on top one and nothing. It's on the way from Keene. Some off. It'll be a called strike across the plate. Nothing to one is the count. Here's Zach Giants. They ruled a hit on the scoreboard finally, as if there was a doubt. Now, here comes out of the stretch. Keen will miss low in the dirt. It was away. It'll be one ball, one strike here at Casey on deck circle for the Rams. Chris Hugo with you. Danny Zerwinski on assignment. He'll return with us on the trip to Paducah on Friday. Rams at Cahokia on Thursday. Take the day off tomorrow. 1-1. One, one. Giants shows Bond puts it in play. We'll see what happens. Quick scoop to home. Looking to go to... First for the double play, and that's how it'll end up. It'll go down as one, two, three. And that'll erase the base pass for the Rams here through one half. It's one to nothing, Mount Vernon, and this is Rams Baseball from WIX Sports. The Chevrolet Open House event is going on now at Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. Get big savings on the entire lineup of top-quality fuel-efficient cars, like the Sonic Spark, Volt, Malibu, and Cruise, all backed by our award-winning service department. Schmidt Chevrolet is your regional Chevrolet headquarters. But hurry, the Chevrolet Open House event is here for a limited time, and these deals won't last long. Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Complete. That's the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois with a full sports medicine clinic, state-of-the-art MRI, a spine care team that focuses on pain management, arthroscopy specialists offering total joint replacement, hand surgery, and complete rehabilitation services. Doctors Chow, Poole, Ahn, Kowalski, Freehill, and Smith stand ready to serve you today with offices in Mount Vernon and Centralia and satellite offices in Benton and Nashville. Find out more online at orthocenter-si.com. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. This is Mount Vernon Rams Baseball. And welcome you back. WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Chris Hugo with you. Danny Zawinski, of course, is on assignment. He'll return with us on Friday from Belleville. So glad to have you with us. WMIX and WMIXSports.com, as we told you. The Rams with a one and nothing lead here as we head to the home half of the first. We're the Crusaders. Your batting order presented by the Page Agency. We Sam Hodgers splitting off in left field. Austin Keene, the pitcher, will bat second. Colin McClellan, the center fielder, will bat third. Will be Luke Frazier, the second baseman, in the cleanup spot. Ben Hankammer, the first baseman, batting fifth. Grant Streaker, the shortstop, bat sixth. Eric Mertens, the catcher in the seventh hole. Jake Fisher, the third baseman, will bat eighth. And Connor O'Dell, the right fielder, will bat ninth. And this out-top lineup coached by Brent Isaacs, a team that will actually go two-way when it comes time to postseason. The waiver, of course, is in effect. Not much postseason success in 3A for the Crusaders, so that multiplier is waived. And without it, they're a 2A team in the four class system. First pitch from Brock Fulkerson is a ball to Hodrich, and he will try to punt one foul, but even things up at 1 and 1. Oh, apparently a wild pitch. It was 2 0. Well, be that as it may. So the scoreboard shows 2 0 the count. So Hodrich is left fielder. We'll get things started. Out of the wide at this time for Fulkerson, and out in front on the swing will be the left fielder. Two balls and a strike. Holly Carroll back at our Mount Vernon studio. I'm Chris Hugo. You can follow us on Twitter at WMAX Sports. Corrected on the scoreboard. The count is even 2 and 2, so it was 0 2 a moment ago, so it was fouled off. 
And now the county, even on that pitch, the miss. The 2-2, put in play, no problem for Millwood off the ground. Meaning Hodges over to first base is beat by the throw, and 4-3 is your first out off out. The Rams on top, 1-0, to an RBI single by the pitcher, Fulkerson. So one out and nobody on now for a right-handed batter, Austin Keene, the pitcher. Mano Imano here. Folk will be out of the windup. Here comes the pitch on the way. It's across the plate for nothing to walk. WMIX Mobile Studios. Sports Mobile Studios, of course, driven by Ford Square. More on that after the 0-1 curveball. Just catches the inside corner. It's nothing to do. You can find Ford Square online at FordSquare.com where you schedule all of your service appointments and also find their huge selection of new and pre-owned automobiles. As the 0-2 gets outside, it's 1-2. and two. After one, no score between Waterloo and Triad on the diamond. It's just going to get in on the hip of Austin Keene. So, the hit batsman results in a runner on for Colin McClellan, the center fielder. And now the Rams infield will presumably move to double play depth. Here with one out, a runner on at the bottom of the first. one nothing score. Here from Belva, South Seven Conference action. Both out of the windup for the first time. Sees a left-handed McClellan who is swinging for the fences and swings through. It'll be nothing to want. Frazier on deck. Go for Alpha. One nothing ball game. One run, two hits, no errors. Two left aboard for the Rams. As taking it alone and away, it's McClellan to even things up. But one and one. Well, it's traditionally number five. It's the number two today. You put two and two together. You'll remember what we told you in our pregame. It's still left one in the center on the run with a shoe top catch is Jones. Had to throw to first, and Pike will trap the flow, throw and step on the bag, and that will be an 8 3 double play. So theoretically, one, two, three go the Crusaders. We are through one. It's still one nothing Rams. This is not for the baseball from WMIX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. This is your local State Farm agent, Tony Wilt. I want to thank Mount Vernon and the surrounding area for continuing to support us over the past five years. If you have never sat down with someone to go over your insurance program, let me invite you into our office. Let us show you what working with the industry leader, represented by a local agent, can do for you. I'm located just off 42nd Street. You can reach our office 24 hours a day at 242-1421 or on the web at TonyWilt.com. Thanks again, and go Rams. Broadcasting live from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by King City Chrysler, this is Mount Vernon Rams Baseball. And we welcome you back to WMIX, WMIX Sports Talk. Calvin, a present 8-3 double play to end the bottom half of the first. Takes us to the top of the second with the Rams still on top, one to nothing. It'll be Derek Hayes, Connor Story, and Blake Jones in the Rams lineup here, 7-8-9. First pitch from Keane will be right. A little bit up. Across the plate, it'll be nothing in one. So no balls, one strike, and here comes the next one on the way. That looked like a body caught in the outside corner for nothing in two to Hayes. Story and Jones do out at the top of the stack, and Rams had the bases loaded, but a bond double play into that thread in the south half of the day. So they settle for a one nothing lead with run, one run on two hits. A ball that just misses outside to make it one and two. Week does not get any easier for the Crusaders. They have the National Hornets tomorrow. And then the Carbondale Terriers on Thursday. They will not play Friday or Saturday. Check swing. That one will get away. It should even account at two and two. And the count, I believe. They're going to appeal. Nothing to do it. They go ahead and throw down the first base. The wide move. They go ahead and do that and then appeal. And then, of course, had he gone around, the batter would have been out. But the count is just two balls and two strikes as Hayes leads things off the top of the sack. A community first bank of the Heartland, don't forget about them. The official voice of high school sports here on WIX. As we wait to 2-2, it counts a tie. 
Gets the full key on here to Derek Hayes. Well, the Rams get one of the first on the RBI single by Fulkerson, then a magnificent double play. Fundamentally sound, a quick throw off the shoestring catch by Blake Jones. The full count here will be a changeup, swung on a miss. That's the first strikeout today for Austin Keene. Neat story about tomorrow's game. You heard it on the Saturday Sports Show, and you hear it frequently when we have either Chad Malavi or Brett Isaacs on. Those two are brothers in law, and so they will meet tomorrow. We'll see if the winner of that game will have familial bragging rights as the first pitch of the left handed story is up. 4 1 0 count. One out, nobody on the top of the second. It is a 1 0 Ram lead. You can follow us on Twitter. We'll give you updates at WMAXSports.com. The story is showing Buck trying to get out of the box. Bounces it off. It'll be a 1 1 count with Jones on deck. Rips have an interesting weekend. Friday, they'll hold down the Paducah to McCracken County High School at Edward Jones Field. And we wait for 1 1 to story. This will come in on the hands. Ground ball pass to diving pitcher, Keane. Frazier picks up and fires over to first base in time for the second out. Rams get used to saying normal you high in these parts, but the Rams get missed this you high. That'll be the first game at 11.30 on Friday. 11.15 will be your pregame. Then right after that, they turn around and play the Bartlett Panthers before getting Henderson County, Kentucky, Brooks Stadium on Saturday as the first pitch to Jones ripped down to third. Jake Fisher will pick it up and fire across in time. And one, two, three, go the Rams here in the second. It's one nothing. Mount Vernon through one and a half. This is Rams Baseball from WMIX Sports. Raise your hand if you're tired of showing up for a service appointment only to sit around a waiting room. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealer at King City Chrysler Center. Our express lane fast oil changes and more provide quick, convenient service with no appointment needed. Our specialists are on hand to wait on you with lanes dedicated just for your oil changes, tire rotation, brake inspections, batteries, bulbs, wiper blades, air filter replacements, and more. We will also perform complimentary vehicle inspection with every oil change. We work around your schedule, open weekdays from 7.30 until 5, and Saturdays from 8 a.m. until noon. See Express Lane Fast Oil Changes and more for all of your service needs, and we will get you back on the road quick. We're located at King City Chrysler Center at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Just another reason you can count on us. This is Mount Vernon Rams Baseball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back on WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Here from Whitey Herzog Field, we head to the bottom of the second. Rams on top of outs off one and nothing. It'll be the meat of the order with Frazier, hand camera, and streaker do up. First pitch from Folk. Catch the inside corner on a fastball. It'll be nothing to one to Luke Frazier, the second baseman. Here's the Rams lead one to nothing. One run on two hits. Here early on. Curveball working. No, it's going to just miss inside. It'll be one and one. Here comes a 1-1 pitch. Tricks him off. It pulled the string. It'll be 1-2 and two on a swing and a miss by Frazier. Frazier, of course, a multiple sport athlete for the Crusaders. Played football and basketball. He's a wide, I think a wide receiver has. A 1-2 pitch. will miss a long way to the right hand. Frazier, two ball, two strike count. Video streaming returns with our commencement exercises from Alfred and Township High School. It'll be presented by Rim Lake College. Log on to rlc.edu to see how you can save thousands. Tap foul with the third base dugout. And we'll do it again on two balls and two strikes. And camera the first baseman on deck. Waiting for his chance in the bottom of the second. A quick one nothing lead for the Rams on the full percent RBI single with the bases loaded. As the 2-2 will be put in the parking lot. Again, two balls, two strikes. We do it one more time, maybe. See how far we get. Fulkerson is working out of the windup to start things off here in the second. Pretty good season for Brock. 2 2 coming. That'll be tapped. Foul, third base side. Coach Isaacs will go get it. And we will do it again. So quickly, a seven pitch at bat already for Frazier. Start things off. Grass Dorman here at Whitey Herzog Field, the Bermuda Grass. 2 2 coming. This one's going to be put in a right field. Dory ought to take a couple of steps back. It'll make the grab. So there you go. Pitch number eight, not the charm. It'll end up in the first down of the inning. His hand camera will stand in with one out, nobody aboard. Two 
Lady Rams softball will return to the airways before you know it. Schedules have been conflicting, unfortunately, as the first pitch seen by the left-hander hand cameras a strike on the outside corner. And it'll be nothing to one. They, too, are here at all top today. They're at the high school across town, as this will be a 1-1 count on a pitch blown away to hand camera. They go to Cahokia on Thursday. They'll play Nashville Saturday. Lost the game with modern day today due to the rain date, as this will be a high strike, 1-2 and two to hand camera. Scores are brewing from just about everywhere. We'll try to get you taken care of today. There were some cancellations as the 1-1 counts, and the dirt gets stopped by Weber. I mean, it should be 2-2. Two and two. It is. Two balls, two strikes, and five is a ride. It's one out, nobody on. Here comes the pitch. Looks like it just misses. And the count will be full. Three balls, two strikes. Good, consistent strike zone here in the early going. Fires doing a great job today. Here comes. And this one's going to be a golf swing. Off the mound will come. Both fires over to first. And there is your one three foot out to get the second out of the frame. So two outs, nobody on for Grand Street and shortstop. You'll see the East Cape of in the bottom half of the second. Rams hanging on to a one nothing lead. Struck early after getting the bases loaded. Brad Campbell came in to score on a line drive single by Fulkerson. And now a fastball down the middle swung on a miss. Down is quickly nothing and one with two outs and nobody on. One nothing score, one runs, two hits, two left aboard for the Rams. No runs, no hits, nobody left on. For the Crusaders, they did have a base runner. It was a hit batsman that was double off and a fly ball. So pitch will just miss low and away. The count's even here. One ball, one strike to Streaker. And out of the windup will come Falk. And this one will be fouled straight back to make the count one and two. Community First Bank has five Jefferson County branches with responsive quality service for all of your accounts. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Remember FDIC. The one, two popped up right side. Should scoot over the light standard and get out of play. Twenty-nine pitches thus far. Four Fulkerson with a one-two on the line. This one, we're going to do it again. Make that thirty pitches through two innings, through actually one and two-thirds innings. Hoping to get the out pitch here soon. Rock Fulkerson, the senior right-hander, will wind and fire curveball that time. Tap foul, and we'll do the one-two for what feels like a fifth time. Base is empty, two outs here in the bottom of the sack. And Crusaders looking for their first hit of the day. Rams got their first base hit to lead off the game from Ryan Campbell. He's off the middle of the pitcher. Nothing Luke Frazier could do out of reaction. That's the one-two count outside. So two balls, two strikes, a streaker. Eric Merck is the catcher on deck. Has the knee pads on just in case he doesn't get that far. See what happens. Coming down the line. This one is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop Campbell. He'll have to rush a throw and dust. And one, two, three, will go the Crusaders here in the second. Through two, it's one nothing Rams. This is now for the baseball from WIX Sports. Women's health care just got closer to home right here in Salem. St. Mary's Good Samaritan Women's Health Care and OBGYNs, Dr. Deborah Carson, Dr. Doug Combs, Dr. Jamie Plett, Dr. Elizabeth Byer Nolan and Dr. Michael Schifano are seeing patients every Tuesday at the Salem Family Health Center. That means you'll have a full range of OBGYN services close to home, including prenatal and wellness checks, incontinence treatment, and family planning options for when your family's complete, plus access to state-of-the-art da Vinci robotic surgery for quicker recovery and less pain after hysterectomy. Ladies, your health is important, so why not get OBGYN care right here close to home by St. Mary's Good Samaritan Women's Health Care. Call 1-877-456-2496 to make your appointment. That's 1-877-456-2496. WMIX Sports is your home for the Mount Vernon Rams, powered by Community First Bank. And we welcome you back. WMIX, WMIX Sports Top Count. Top of the third means the top of the order for the Rams is Ryan Campbell. Trying to put one in the right, but on the run is Odell as Campbell with a charge into it. 
But that'll be the first out. So the first pitch, that's the first out for the Crusaders. As Millwood and Weber follow here in this top of the third. One out, they score. One run, two hits for the Rams. No errors. Nobody left on. Or actually, two left on. Crusaders still seeking their first base hit of the day. But Austin Keene trying to get out of the inning in a hurry. As the first pitch to Millwood will miss low. It's 1-0. and After two, the Lady Rams lead out. Stop two to nothing. Horse in baseball after one, the Terriers lead. That's Carbonell over Centralia, three to nothing. That scoreboard update is presented by Tony Wilt. You can find him online at TonyWilt.com. Look for the White State Farm team around town. And get to a better state with State Farm. Quick curveball inside means one ball, two strikes to Millwood. He also finds Tony on the corner of 40 stack of the South Water Tower. It's a one two pitch curveball. Slap just past the pitcher. Could be a chance for streak of the shortstop. He'll overrun it. And aboard first base will go Millwood on a couple of bad <laughs> luck hops. There for the Crusaders, and that'll go down as an error. And the first base goes Millwood for Thomas Weber. Tommy Webbs will stand in with a runner on and one out. Same situation as last time, but the runner was in scoring position as last time up. He walked the patient at that, and here comes the pitch from Keene. It'll be up high. It'll be one ball and no strikes. Second chance on one of our great Rams booster sponsors, always supporting the local community as well as the Rams. There's more than one reason why they've been around for over 34 years. As the one out comes inside jam, it'll be a foul ball to the backstop. <clears throat> one ball, one strike. Some of the reasons include bank rate financing for all. No fancy sales or gimmicks, just honest deals. And of course, the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles priced at $10,000 in one location. That's second chance auto route 142 East. A one one count, it's in the dirt. Two balls and a strike to Weber. Lady Rams looking to get even in the South 7. They did not get a game in against Marion. They lost their first game against Carbondale, but to beat Alps off today to get to 1-1. One one. Two and one the count here to Weber. Also, what the Rams hope their record will be after this one as he fouls his back, and it's 2-2. Two and two. So Jake Pike will come get the foul ball. He's in the on-deck circle. One half of that great double play that we tweeted about. You can follow us on Twitter, at WMIX Sports. Two balls, two strikes. Keen set. Here comes the pitch. It's a curveball inside. Now will ring up Weber. For two outs in the inning for Jake Pike with a runner on first. That's just a nasty curveball. Not much you could do about it. If you do get a hold of that one, you'll likely top it. It wasn't going to do much. Now with a runner on, two outs will be a lefty Pike. Pike, of course, has walked his last time. It was a good at bat by Jake, who actually had an 0-2 count that worked from behind to get the walk. And now he'll foul one off. It's the high fencing on the backstop. And the count will move to nothing they want. Glad to be getting some games in. Of course, the Rays and Everett, most teams yesterday are now actually wreaking havoc with Major League Baseball, especially in the Northeast. The 0-1 comes. It's right back up the middle. It's a two-out base hit for Pike. The second will go Millwood, the first will go Jake, and it's a two-out single to put two aboard for Brock Fulkerson. Let's see if he can continue to hit the ball. So Falk actually got an RBI single his last time up. Stands in with an RBI chance, so the bases were full as last time. He has runners on first and second here. On a game that is moving briskly. We got started at 426. So we're about 20 minutes in, or... Half hour in, if I could count. It's the first pitch. will miss outside the full. It'll be one ball and no strikes. Rams back in action Thursday at Cahokia. Yes, so they come right back here to St. Clair County for a third consecutive trip. As we wait the 1-0, it's going to miss up. They'll throw behind the runner. That throw's going to get away. No one's going to be waved on to third base where he'll be held up, and it'll be runners at the corners. So they throw behind the runner at first. Pike was cut well off of the bag. If not by design. In the third base means runners at the corners. Millwood on third, Pike on first, Folk at the plate with a 2 0 count. And two gone here in the top of the third. Rams looking for more runs. They lead one to nothing on a pitch that's going to catch the outside corner. And it's a 2 1 pitch here to Fulkerson. I don't think you can ask for any more consistent of a strike zone today. It's been very, very consistent thus far. 2 1 coming. 2 and 2. Both the Chris Carpenter look alike. Zach Giants will come get it. And we'll do it again. Two balls, two strikes, two gone. Runners set to corners. This top half of the third inning. Of 
or spark play, maybe. Fine, we'll get back safely. Oh. Good move by Keene not to balk. Would have made it a 2 nothing ball game. But right now, it's two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners to the corners. Keene will fire. This one will come inside on the curveball. And that will end the Rams' chances here in the third as they get a couple more aboard. But strand balls. It's still one nothing Mount Vernon. This is Rams Baseball from WIX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high-interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. You need a great quality, new-to-you vehicle. There's a reason why Second Chance Auto has been helping put families into affordable, dependable vehicles for over 34 years. Honest, fair deals. Ain't nothing fancy, just great vehicles with warranties and bank rate financing for all. That's the only way Second Chance Auto will do business. They're receiving new vehicles every day. So be sure to stop by and find out how you can save thousands on the total cost of your vehicle. Helping people get out a great, dependable vehicle for over 34 years. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244 44 this is Mount Vernon Rams baseball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back, WMAX, WMAXSports.com. Chris Hugo with you. Danny Zerwinski is on assignment. He will be back with us Friday when we head to Paducah. Should be a fun couple of days for Rams baseball. As a one nothing lead for Falk and the Rams. First pitch scene will be launched foul behind Eric Mertens, the catcher. And the count becomes nothing to one. You can always bank on your hometown team at Community First Bank. Home of the one account. Featuring free checking and high yield interest. We screw to the bottom of the third. Rams have one run on three hits, no errors. Three left on base. Four left on base, even. As here comes. This one will be sky high. Shouldn't leave the infield. Campbell will smooth the feet, get underneath, and make the fundamentally sound play. And there's your first down. Would expect nothing less from the Rams shortstop. The win will step Jake Fisher, the third baseman. You can follow us on Twitter at WMAX Sports. We can tell you the Lady Rams lead outs off two to nothing through two as the first pitch comes. Fisher fist is foul behind the backstop. And will be nothing won. Of course, baseball and softball season are here, but what about your corporate season? Make the call to the bullpen for Winning Edge's high-quality embroidered apparel to equip your employee team in style. Winning Edge, downtown Mount Vernon. As the pitch will miss a low and away to Jay Fisher. One ball, one strike to count. One out, nobody on, as he will take one low. It'll be two and one. Connor O'Dell in the on-deck circle, the right-handed right fielder. Bulk out of the lineup, 2-1. Ooh, just misses high. It'll be a 3-1 count. We have not seen a 3-1 hitter's count today allowed by Fulkerson. Out of the windup he comes. Catches the outside corner and the count's full. Can't be upset with that. It's been there all day. Great consistent zone. Here comes. Swung on a miss. And that'll be a strikeout for Fulkerson. That'll be his first of the afternoon, but it puts two outs on the board with nobody on for outs off. Who brings in Connor O'Dell. And Fulk is dealing. Got great defense today as the Rams' defense is really short up. Two outs for Odell, low and away as the pitch. It's 1 0. Crusaders finish up the week with the National Hornets tomorrow and then Carbondale Thursday. 1 0 comes. Ground ball shot. Hayes on the charge. We'll have to make a quick play out of his hand. Transition. And that should be safe at first. It'll be an infield base hit. Cracks the no no. And speed out of the box, put the base runner aboard. It's a two out base hit. And that's just one of those. Can't get there quick enough. That's a tough transition, and the transition was tough, but made effortlessly by Hayes. There's not much you could do to get the runner. So Aldridge will stand in. Runner on. First base hit of the day for the Crusaders comes to the bottom of the third with two and two-thirds inning of hit this baseball. Here comes the strike on the outside corner of the left. He'll be nothing to want. Aldridge, of course, grounded out second as last time. To start off the bottom half of the first. Nothing won the count. Two outs. Runner aboard. It's a one nothing Ram lead here early. Still, runners going. 
That's a good steal there against the left-handed batter. Not much the Weber was going to be able to do on a pitch inside, so a clean swipe a second by Odell. Makes it an RBI chance. Just like that, the Crusaders have a chance to even things up here in the third. 1-1 one, one to count on Aldrich. With Austin Keene, the pitcher on deck. Both out of the stretch. 1-1 one, one to count, two gone. Inside, it's going to be a ground ball just underneath the minute pike. Could be trouble. Here comes the throw from Story. Potential play at the plate, and not inside as the throw gets past the catcher. And to second will go Sam Aldrich. On the RBI single, and then we're tied at one. But just as we bragged about the defense, that one just took a bad hop underneath the Meta Pikes. Got in the right field. It died in the dormant grass, but not much that Connor Story was going to be able to do there short of having a rocket for an arm. A 1-1 ball game now here in the bottom of the third. Two outs, your counts. Runner in scoring position, and after the throw, the runner went to second base. So it's an RBI single. But Austin Keene won the first pitch ball low. Good block by Thomas Weber. Let's see what happens. Certainly not the position the Rams want to be in here. Nine of one. It's your counts. The next one's going to be inside, just off of the plate. Two balls, no strikes. <laughs> Two of the counts, two gone. Runner on second for the Crusaders. Here comes right down the middle. That'll be a strike, and that's two and one. McClellan in the on deck circle for out thoughts. Two, one, two gone. Your counts on the way. That's going to be a ground ball, second base side. No one off the hop, fires over to first. And there you go. The damage done, though, is we are tied at one, heading to the fourth. This is Rams Baseball from WMIX Sports. Qualifications and rules apply. See institution for details. Bill, where are we going? We're trying to find my ATM. We just passed an ATM. But that's not my ATM. I lose four bucks if it's not my ATM. Make any ATM your ATM. Introducing free Casasa checking with monthly rewards like cash and ATM fees back in your pocket. Visit trycasasa.com. K-A-S-A-S-A. Visit People's National Bank or peoplesnationalbank.com for your Casasa checking. Member FDIC. For 16 years, I wrote about the area's great teams. Now I'm part of a great team, the sales team, Schmidt Ford of Salem. Hi, folks, it's Mike McManus, and I'm proud to be part of the Schmidt Ford family. Whether it be a new or pre-owned vehicle, let me or any other of our professional sales consultants help you find your next car or truck. You'll be glad you did. So stop by Schmidt Ford of Salem or visit us online at schmidtfordofsalem.com. WMIX Sports is your home for the Mount Vernon Rams, powered by Community First Bank. We head to the top of the fourth, tied at one. It's Giants, Hayes, and Story do up for the Rams. And first pitch, the curveball fouled off. It'll be nothing at one. The Rams gave up the first run of the game with the Crusaders after the first hit. Hotel single with two outs, stole second, and scored on an RBI single by Andrich. And now it's tied at one here in the fourth. As the 0 one will be well outside, it'll be one to one to Giants. Ready First Bank. Welcome back to Personal Banking. It is the official voice of the Rams and Lady Rams. Say more after the 1-1 one, one count. Square ball going to be right through. Oh, good timing. Stop by Streaker off. It's fun. He'll make the throw. And what a play. What a gym by Streaker to throw out Giants. It looks like he got another base hit. But there's robbed of one there. And that is your first now. Of course, that was one good play. Make your own great play when you open a Community First Bank free high yield checking account. But earns cash back. Just ask for one. Remember, FDIC, 1-1 the score. One run would mean a whole lot more, just like it does for Pretty First Bank. Hey, he's going to lift one. Curveball down in the right field on the run is Hotel, and he'll make the grab. So just like that, two outs in the inning as Connor Story will stand in with nobody aboard. No JV game today. Of course, JV practicing out at the high school field. Open to someday be in this very position at Whitey Herzog against the outside Crusaders. A 1 1 score. Here it comes. Story. Base is empty. Two outs. He'll take a strike on the outside corner. And the left hander gets behind here. Nothing to walk. Oh, one pitch hit around. There it is. Strike across the plate. Nothing to two. WIX Sports Mobile Studios driven by Fort Kingsley Chrysler. How about that? 
For service without appointment, it's express lane, fast oil changes, and more. 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon. This is almost a fast city. Fouled off line drive for the third base side. And we do the 0-2 again. Eight minutes past the top of the 5 o'clock hour. As you know, this is WIX Mount Vernon. If you're looking for the 5 o'clock news, probably wrap it up on the FM right now. That's where it is on game day, 94.1. Ground ball to Streaker. He'll fire over to first. And just beat him. The runner story. One, two, three, go the Rams here in the fourth. We head to the bottom half side at one. This is France Baseball from WIX Sports. How can we keep the people we love safe and secure in their own home? Let the Medicine Shop's home medical equipment team help you with all your mobility and specialty product needs. They provide mobility products like motorized scooters, wheelchairs, and home stair lifts. The Medicine Shop's expertly trained staff can also provide car and van lift installations. And they offer a full service repair facility for medical equipment, whether you purchased it from them or somewhere else. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black. We service a 60-mile radius area. It's a pretty wide area. We service... Uh, orders from several area hospitals and we have the staff in place that really sets us apart. We have three respiratory therapists and two seating specialists uh, to help with uh, seating on wheelchair and uh, power chair needs. And we just feel that we have the staff and the warehousing and the facilities in place to really set us apart from any of our competitors in the area. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Streaming worldwide at WMIXSports.com. This is Mount Vernon Rams Baseball from WMIX Sports. And we add to the bottom half of the fourth tied at one for the Crusaders McClellan Frazier hand camera. On the meet Brock Volkerson, whose first pitch just gets away. It'll be 1-0 outside of the left-handed McClellan. Like college can save you thousands on your college education on a pitch that gets up. It's 2 0. See how at RLC.edu. They'll power our video streaming for high school sports when it returns again come August, or they'll have the commencement exercises for you on May the 24th as the 2 1 pitch becomes a strike. Luke Frazier in the on deck circle. 2 1 coming. Hard hit ground ball. Millwood, no problem. Fires over to first. That'll be the first down. Tied at one. It was an RBI single by Sam Hodges. Just got under the middle of the first baseman at the right field. Tied things up at one in the bottom half of the third. He had a feeling that one nothing wasn't quite going to be safe for either team in a game like this. And with one out comes Frazier. Takes a pitch high. It'll be ball one. And last time he flew out to right field. Let off the second. Here in the fourth. Takes a pitch inside. Just catches one ball, one strike to Frazier. Rams to Cahokia Thursday. Here comes. This one's going to be right up the middle on a hard hit ball. Jones will keep that a single, but it's a one out single for Frazier. Third outs off hit of the day. And that makes the lines relatively even. As the Rams, of course, it's been a three game road trip here in St. Clair County. A little bit of separation between game days. Friday, of course, at East with a 7 2 win. Here on a Tuesday at outs off, and then back on Thursday to Cahokia where they'll play at Old Soje Field. The 1-1 one, one game, one on, one out. Here comes the pitch to the left-hander. They're going to try to go 3-6-3. Three, three, the second for one, the first for the other. And it'll actually be a 3-6-1 double play. So Hank Hammer grounds into that, and we head to the fifth, tied at one. This is Rams Baseball from WIX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Registration for summer classes at Rindlay College is going on now. The eight-week summer term is a great chance to catch up on classes you need from general education to electives and more. Curious about starting college or even a little nervous? Summer is a good time for new students to find out what Rindlay College can do for you. Registration for summer classes continues through June 6th. Call us at 618-437-5321 or find us online at rlc.edu. Rindlay College, your journey starts here. 
back to Mount Vernon Rams baseball. Powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to WMIX, WMIXSports.com. As we head to the top of the fifth, it'll be Blake Jones, Brian Campbell, and Reed Millwood to start things off. As we are now in the fifth, what a great double play that was. Started by Pike. And then Campbell turned it back to the pitcher Fulkerson, 3-6-1. And now Jones will take high and tight. And it's 1-0 to start things off. Hard to believe already in the fifth inning. Deer from Belleville. Next one coming, fouled up. Campbell yeah, leaving himself a one ball and one strike. Boy, there's a ghost somewhere. And it's a one one Oh, Miss low and away. It's two balls and a strike. Twitter is acting up. Now it's cleaned up. 2 2 as that catches the outside corner to Jones. Greedy First Bank of the Heartland is your official voice of high school sports. They have five Jefferson County branches. By far the market leader, but check out their superstar. Their all star is one checking, which is free checking and high yield interest. The high fastball swung on a miss will be. The end of Blake Jones. That'll be the third strikeout, fourth strikeout today. For Austin Keene, and that'll bring in the top of the order with Ryan Campbell. He's one for two today. He flew out to right his last time up. But represents the lone ram run, and he'll take a curve while he's hanging. Just got underneath it, though. Right side of the infield. Frazier underneath will make the play. So with two outs, the base is empty. That'll bring in Reed Millwood. Game not quite an hour old yet. As it's 1 1. Teams tied up here. Both teams have one run on three hits. As this will be a strike down the middle to Millwood. Your Staters have only stranded run one runner. But a couple of double plays have the Rams. Fastball high, and the 0 1 becomes 1 1. One ball, one strike, two outs. Here comes the pitch on the way. This one's going to be lifted foul over the backstop. It'll stay or become one and two. To Millwood with Weber on deck, open for a chance here in the top of the fifth inning. Out of the windup, counts the pitch. A good curveball, waving at it and missing as Millwood. And that'll take care of things through four and a half. It's still 1 1. This is Rams Baseball from WMAX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high-interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. You need a great quality, new-to-you vehicle. There's a reason why Second Chance Auto has been helping put families into affordable, dependable vehicles for over 34 years. Honest, fair deals. Ain't nothing fancy, just great vehicles with warranties and bank rate financing for all. That's the only way Second Chance Auto will do business. They're receiving new vehicles every day. So be sure to stop by and find out how you can save thousands on the total cost of your vehicle. Helping people get out a great, dependable vehicle for over 34 years. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244 244-45- Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. This is Mount Vernon Rams Baseball. And welcome back to Whitey Herzog Field as we head to the bottom half of the fifth inning. Tied in one for the Crusaders will be Grant Streaker, Eric Mertens, and Jake Fisher. For Brett Isaac's crew, they have Nashville tomorrow. Of course, we've told you many times in the Saturday Sports Show a little story there about Nashville and outside baseball. Then on Thursday, Crusaders have Carpale, who leads Centroia 3-2. At the end of the third, of course, this one will be over the head of Streaker. Fastball high, they got over the helmet, will be 1-0. Center fielder Jones will play straight away. And the 1-0 pitch is in and around. This will be tapped foul on the third base side. It will stay, will become a 1-1 count. Rams, meanwhile, take tomorrow off before heading to Cahokia on Thursday. They will go to Paducah Friday and Saturday. As the pitch comes inside, this will be lifted in the center. Should be a problem for Blake. He'll make the grab, and there is your first down to bring in Eric Mertz. Mertz popped up to the shortstop Campbell's last time up. 
Now, Steve played again here in the bottom of the fifth. The WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square. Find all their inventory, including Lincoln Luxury, at FordSquare.com. Here comes the first pitch to the catcher. We'll take it low and away for ball one. Martin's kind of a, a man amongst boys here as the 1 0 comes. going to be high and tight. 2 0 to Martin Fisher on deck here for the Crusaders. One out, nobody on. 1 1 ball game in the bottom of the fifth. The miss will be a strike swinging for Martin's. Money had a home run ball, gave it a home run swing, it came up short. The count becomes 2 and 1. One gone here in the fifth. Here comes. Rolling away. The count is 3 and 1. That's the outtop catcher. Mertz also a three-sport standout here for Alsop. 3-1 coming. Hitters count. That is going to be a one-out walk at this time. Came inside on Mertz, and that will bring Fisher. Mertz has got two double plays to get them out of trouble today. One of the 8-3 variety. The other was a 3-6-1. Not quite the most conventional double plays you'll see, especially at the high school level. But it was an improbable catch by Blake Jones at the first off of the shootout with a nice throw over the first. They'll check on the runner at first, speaking of which. It's back without much effort, of course. Is the courtesy runner for Streaker, Casey Arnold. Pitch in around here comes, fouled off, headed toward the parking lot. It'll be nothing to one. Orphans trailing Carbondale three to two. That last check. Waterloo was leading triad one to nothing, and that was going to be a play that wasn't going to happen. A stolen base for Casey Arnold. Rock had some trouble or Weber had some trouble on the transition. Glove hand to throwing hand. In the second base with Arnold. One ball, one strike is the count here on Jake Fisher, the third baseman. With one out of the fifth, an RBI chance to try to get a 2-1 lead for the Crusaders. Volkerson will step off and collect his spots as we await the 1-1 delivery out of the stretch. Scoreboard updates are presented by Tony Wilshire, State Farm agent. 1-1 coming. That's going to be a good stab, good stop by Webb. Tony Wilt, you can find him on the corner of 40 Stack in the South Water Tower. Worldwide at TonyWilt.com. Or look for that white State Farm Jeep around town and get to a better state. Runner on second, one out here in the bottom of the fifth. High ball game at one. Both will step off and feign the throw to second base. Let's see. Oh, 2 1 coming. And it's going to be just off the plate. Three balls and a strike to Fisher. Odell in the on-deck circle is actually the lone run for the Crusaders. He singled his last time, stole a base, and then has an RBI single to bring him home from Honders to tie the game. And that's where we stand now, the 3-1. The even to center field, so we'll have to back up a little bit. He'll make the easy grab, and there's your second out. You can follow us on Twitter, at WMIX Sports. Find us on Facebook as well. We'll have a scoreboard later tonight at WMIXSports.com. Of course, don't forget, no sports show on Saturday. We're taking this Saturday off due to the Rams baseball in Paducah. Timing just will not work out. We hope you enjoy the Easter holiday. If you're a Saturday sports show listener, remember the reason behind it. As the first pitch to the devil is blowing away, and we want to know. Runner on second to set the go-ahead run for the Crusaders. This one will be popped up right side. They'll get out of play. The count will even itself a one ball and one strike. This game is just over an hour old. Rams have one run on three hits. They've stranded four. Crusaders have one run on three hits, one error, and they've stranded one. Rams trying to see if they can get the Crusaders to strand another. 1-1 the count on Connor Odell, the right fielder. Had singled his last time. Runner thought about going, and this could be trouble. If it gets down, it will in the right center field. Story's going to have to come up firing the throw, not in time, and Alsop takes a 2-1 lead. 2-2 two two is Odell, and probably the hero for the Crusaders. As Arnold comes in to score, and it's a 2-1 ball game. 
Uh, what has it been a great day for the Rams up until this point? There were two outs and runner on first. Even down at the inning, the Sam Aldridge from Stan Eddy had an RBI single as last time. So full the tall, lanky right-hander. Throws behind the runner and picks him off of first base. So Adele caught napping off of first, but he does the damage. And the Crusaders take a 2-1 lead. This is Rams Baseball from WYX Sports. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Ford Lincoln dealer at Ford Square, Mount Vernon. Construction, heavy hauling, emergency vehicles, agriculture, forestry, utility services. Within these and countless other essential industries, the guys and gals who do the toughest work count on one heavy-duty truck more than any other. The Ford F-Series Super Duty. Day in and day out. Built Ford Tough. Diesel and gas powertrains enable F-Series Super Duties to pump out plenty of horsepower and torque, along with great fuel economy. At Ford Square, we have cash back incentives up to $5,500 on F Super Duties and a great selection right now. Come see one of our sales associates at Ford Square, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, where the best never rest. And you can also view all of our inventory, new and pre-owned, at FordSquare.com. Broadcasting live from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by King City Chrysler, this is Mount Vernon Rams Baseball. WIX, WIX Sports.com. As we head to the top of the six, Rams trailing outs off 2-1 to one as Weber leads off. Takes a curveball on the inside corner for a strike. It's Pike and Fulkerson to follow as we see the heart of the order. We're getting to the heart of the order, 3, 4, and 5. Oh one, one right down the middle, nothing to two. Thomas walked back in the first, struck out looking his last time. Now here in the sixth, looking to get something going, trailing 2-1 to one to the dangerous Crusaders, the only undefeated team left in the conference. This is 1-2 on a pitch, just missing the Weber. One ball, two strikes. Ooh, hoo, hoo, waved at and missed. Good curveball. That'll be the sixth strikeout today for the pitcher, Keene. Of course, Marion's 1-1, one one. Carbondale's 1-1, one one. Mount Vernon's 1-1. One one. Centralia is actually 0-2. Oh or 1-2, or 1-0-1. Oh Stop to think about that. Rams, of course, looking to get to 2-1 and one and maybe tie these Crusaders today. 0-1 oh coming to Pike. It'll miss high. Showed about pulled back. It's 1-1. One Morska Hope is open. That's right. The Orphans are 1-1 one and one as well. Log jam. Is this one going to be ripped? Pike just gets ahead of it. Yeah, it's 1-2 and two to Jake, the Ram cleanup hitter. Richie with you, Danny's Wentzky on assignment. Holly Carroll back in her mouth in studio. Top of any number six. The Rams trailing outs off 2-1. to one. They need one great play. Make your own great play with... Your community first bank, free high yield checking account. Earns cash back. Community first bank of the heart, man. One means more. It could mean a lot more here if the Rams get just one base runner. That was a strikeout to Pike, and that'll be the seventh for Keene to bring in Brock Fulkerson. With two outs, the base is empty. If Keene has found his rhythm here, surrendering the lone run to the very first batter in the top of the first inning. He settled down nicely. He's only allowed one hit since the top of the first. But now Fulkerson will stand in his pitching counterpart. Takes the ball high. It's 1 0. Second chance on one of our great booster sponsors. More on them after the 1 0. Well, maybe not. It'll be a ground ball to first. Hand camera will pick it up and step on the back. 1 2 3 go the Rams through 6. But through 5.5, it's 2 to 1 Crusaders. This is Rams Baseball from WYX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market,
free checking and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. America is a nation on wheels. Everyone has at least one automobile. We use them for shopping, work, everything we do. But they can be a threat. Some accidents can't be prevented. Your professional Pekin Insurance Agency, Page Insurance on Crown View and Mount Vernon, can help protect you from a large financial loss when an accident happens. Call Page Insurance today at 242-7000 about low-cost auto insurance from Pekin Insurance. Ask them about the many money-saving discounts that are available. Depend on your hometown professionals. Pekin Insurance. Find it's on Facebook. This is Rams Baseball from WMIX Sports. Welcome back. WIX, WMIXSports.com. Chris Schuko with you as we head to the bottom of the six. Top of the order to up for outs off with a 2-1 to one lead. Looking to go to 3-0 and oh in conference play. It'll be Hodgers to start off. Shows a bonus down the first baseline and foul. It'll be another one. Second chance on all around 142 East in Mount Vernon. A pass to switch to free owns price under ten thousand dollars in one location. Also bank rate financing for all. Second chance auto. Proud supporters of the Mount Vernon Rams. Nothing in one can be lifted left side. Campbell gets underneath it to make the grab for your first down. The bottom of the hour, WIX Mount Vernon. A game that is one hour and three minutes old in the bottom of the sixth inning. 2-1 ball game. Crusaders on top looking for more keen. The pitcher stands in. It'll be a soft ground ball. The catcher, Weber, wants it. Turns and fires over to first. And 2-3 will be the out. Winley College offers over 100 degree and certificate programs for thousands less. See which is right for you with full descriptions at rlc.edu. It's just some more scoreboard updates throughout the afternoon. 2-1 score here. Two out bases empty for McClellan. Fastball to be right back up the middle. Not much to can do at that. That one right was a comebacker up the mound. So a two out single. So two gone, one aboard for the Crusaders, looking for some insurance at the sixth. Pitch in the dirt, scooped out by Weber to Luke Frazier, and he'll get ahead here 1-0. Of course, baseball and softball are upon us. Check out Winning Edge for your team's uniforms and fan apparel. Find Winning Edge downtown Mount Vernon at 212 South 9th Street and on the web at WinningEdgeUSA.com. They do it again. They allow a base runner, and Bolt picks them off. We add to the last chance, 7th for the Rams, trailing 2-1. to one. This is Mount Vernon Baseball from WIX Sports. Qualifications and rules apply. See institution for details. Hi, I saw your ad for a checking account that earns interest on my money. Oh, yes, that's our plutonium account, and it requires $50,000 to open. What? How am I supposed to grow my money when I can't even afford to open the account? Introducing Casasa. Free checking, where even the smallest balance earns high yields, plus refunds on ATM fees nationwide. Try Casasa.com. K-A-S-A-S-A. Visit People's National Bank or peoplesnationalbank.com for your Casasa checking. Member FDIC. Registration for summer classes at Rindlay College is going on now. The eight-week summer term is a great chance to catch up on classes you need from general education to electives and more. Curious about starting college or even a little nervous? Summer is a good time for new students to find out what Rindlay College can do for you. Registration for summer classes continues through June 6th. Call us at 618-437-5321 or find us online at rlc.edu. Rindlay College, your journey starts here. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. This is Mount Vernon Rams Baseball. And we welcome you back. It's time for the top of the last chance seven. For the Rams trailing two to one, it'll be six, seven, and eight. Zach Giants will start it off. As Austin Keene has retired ten straight in the Ram lineup. Here comes a pitch high. One ball, one strike is the count to Giants. Swung at a high fastball and miss in his first pitch. Now with a 1-1, the base is empty. Sacadena started, takes a strike in the outside corner. And it's 1-2 and two to the Ram left fielder. Out of the windup for Austin Keane. Here comes. Ooh. 
little too much for Zach Giants. High fastball swung on miss, and that's eight strikeouts today. So now down to their final two outs. It'll be Derek Case. Top of the seventh, the two one ball game. Rams need some offense. We'll see what Hayes can do here at the bottom of the hour. WIX Malvernus. Lifted foul. It's out of play. It's not the one to Hayes. Rump row. No balls. One strike. Curveball going to catch the inside corner. And now it is nothing to do. Derek A. Rams need some offense in a hurry. Ooh, a ball that just misses. It'll be one ball, two strikes now. Hayes. Second chance auto has your largest selection of pre-owns priced to $10,000 in one location. Stop by and see him on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Curveball fouled off. First base size will stay one and two. I can chance one of our great loyal Rams sponsors over the years. One, two, the count. Rams need some runners. This is their last chance, seven. One out, the base is empty, trailing two to one. They had a one nothing lead up until the bottom of the third. Out top ties to one. Then the Crusaders get to go ahead and run across the fifth. And that's going to be a strike call in the outside corner. Nine strikeouts on a great performance. And 12 retired in a row for Austin Keene. And the last chance will be Connor Story. Cannot recall the last time the Rams lost twice in the conference. Well, maybe 08. Try to avoid doing that here today with two outs. Last chance is Connor Story here in the seventh, trailing 2-1. to one. It's going to just miss outside for the lefty. It's 1-0. First Bank has five years of county branches and responsive quality service for all of your accounts. Let them be the first to say, welcome back to personal banking, the 1 0 high, 2 0. Mike Jones in the on deck circle. He's come up with many a key defensive plays for the Rams. Would love nothing more than to add some offense should Connor Story get aboard. Two other counts, you gone. Top seven, a 2 1 ball game. Keen, the pitcher, comes right across the plate to back Story off. It's 2 1. Last check, Lady Rams are trailing outs off two to nothing. They're leading outs off, I should say. The Rams are trailing outs off. That's going to be a strike. Nope, the ball. Three and one. Trying to check out the Twitter versus the Tony Wilkes scoreboard update. Twitter Lou leads try at two and nil. Three one coming inside, and that, that will be a walk. That one just misses. Side run on first. So, we get back to the action. It's up to Blake Jones. Tied run on board. Jones is the go-ahead run at the plate at the top of the seventh with two outs. If the Rams get it out here, we head to the schmitz Relay post game show. If not, we head to the bottom of the seventh. The Rams at least tied or on top. Here comes. Jones will take low with a good eye, and it's 1-0. Oh. So, they will find him on the corner of 32nd and South Water Tower. Online at TonyWilt.com or look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. We'll have a full scoreboard tonight at WYXSports.com. One on, two gone, seven. Bottom falls down. It's going to be two and oh. That got dirty. Two falls, no strikes, two gone. Runner on first. Sophomore center fielder, Blake Jones, is at the plate. And Coach Isaacs wants to have a conversation with his hurler. This visit to the mound will be presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon, where Dr. Eric Black and staff proudly support the Mount Vernon Rams. So as they talk things over, we'll run down the situation. One on, two out, top seven. Rams trailing two to one. Blake Jones is at the plate on base as Connor Story. Rams have one run, three hits, no errors. They've left four aboard. The Staters have two runs on five hits with one error. They've left just one aboard. With the lone exception of the third. Anytime the Crusaders have had a runner on, they've been picked off or doubled off. Minus the two that crossed the plate, and the one stranded in that third inning. So interesting. As we'll see some action in the outtop bullpen. 
Austin Keen trying to close this one out on his own and get the complete, complete game victory over the Rams. Rams, meanwhile, trying to give outs off their first conference loss. 2-0 pitch come to Jones. It's going to be across the inside corner, 2-1 to Blake. Outs off has Nashville tomorrow. Carbondale Thursday, who leaves the orphans right now. As a 2-1 pitch jumps, Jones gets a piece of a top to the third baseman, and that's going to get away, and the inning will continue. We'll see how this one is ruled. That was going to be tough off the back end. Jones speeding out of the box. We're going to be homers and give him a single. It'll be first and second. Scoreboard agrees, and why not? Even this blind squirrel finds it not once in a while. That'll be up to Ryan Campbell with two outs and two aboard here in the seventh. A base hit could score the speedy story. And with two outs, this pitch is going to get low and away. Don't know what it is about Rams and the Crusaders. Always a flair for the dramatic here in the top of the seventh. 2-1 outs off on top. Rams down to their final batter again. See what Campbell can do. 1-0 takes it high. Fouls it back. It'll be one and one. Always bank in your hometown team. Speedy First Bank has five Jefferson County branches. Always one near you in the county. Malford and Dicks, Woodlawn, and Ida. Welcome back to Personal Bank. You remember FDIC. One ball, one strike, two gone, two aboard in the seventh. The curveball that just <laughs> misses. And it's two and one to Campbell. Follow us on Twitter at WIX Sports. Find us on Facebook. Two one the count to Campbell, the junior shortstop. Takes high, lifts this in the right. Odell's gonna try to get underneath it and he'll make the grab. As the Rams try to make it a valiant comeback in the seventh, but the bid comes up short. Two to one your final. We'll come back with your totals and a player of the game in your Schmidt Triple A post game show, which is next. This is Rams Baseball from WMI Exports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high-interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. Whether it's Mother Nature's inability to decide on a season, a weekend that got a little out of hand, or just life, there's always something looking to damage your vehicle. This is Chase Landers from Landers Collision Centers. Maybe winter weather turned your full-size sedan into a compact, or a little hail has your truck looking like Swiss cheese. Perhaps a deer decided to go for a ride on your hood, or maybe your truck is missing its hitch and bumper after pulling your little brother out of the ditch last weekend. Did a bad breakup leave a little graffiti on your SUV? We hope not, but we've seen it all, and we certainly don't judge. Whatever mess life has created for your vehicle, we'll clean it up. As a direct repair facility for many insurance companies, we take care of just about everything, even getting you into a temporary vehicle while we restore yours. That's the Lander's difference. Top to bottom, big or small, Lander's fixes them all. Come see us in Mount Vernon and Salem and ask us about free detailing for the life of your vehicle. Or call 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. How can we keep the people we love safe and secure in their own home? Let the Medicine Shop's home medical equipment team help you with all your mobility and specialty product needs. They provide mobility products like motorized scooters, wheelchairs, and home stair lifts. The Medicine Shop's expertly trained staff can also provide car and van lift installations. And they offer a full service repair facility for medical equipment, whether you purchased it from them or somewhere else. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black. We service a 60-mile radius area. It's a pretty wide area. We service... Uh, orders from several area hospitals and we have the staff in place that really sets us apart. We have three respiratory therapists and two seating specialists uh, to help with uh, seating on wheelchair and uh, power chair needs. And we just feel that we have the staff and the warehousing and the facilities in place to really set us apart from any of our competitors in the area. 
The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. As back credit or lack of credit cuts you from buying a vehicle, it won't at Automart of Salem. Automart of Salem is your buy here, pay here headquarters. All credit applications are accepted regardless of your credit history. We take pride in our selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Each vehicle is inspected by our experienced service department before it makes the lot, something that is not done at many other buy here, pay here dealerships. This is manager Amy Thompson. I encourage you to come see me today. I will not allow your credit history to stop you from getting behind the wheel of a pre owned quality vehicle. Come see me at Automart located next to Schmidt Ford in Salem. This is Mount Vernon Rams baseball from WMIX Sports. The Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show starts now. Welcome back. WMIX, WMIX Sports.com, your Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show. Rams come up short on the road at Altop, 2-1. We'll run down your score and stats, but first we'll tell you that Schmidt Chevrolet, the neighbor to us, WMIX, just right next door to our studios at 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Find their new and pre-owned inventory online at SchmidtChevrolet.com or schedule your service appointments online. The Rams, of course, fall here today. They fall to 8-7-1, 1-2 in the conference. The Staters are now 11-2. They're 3-0, the only undefeated team in South 7. They win here 2-1. One run, four hits, no air, six left on base for the Rams. Altoff has two runs, five hits, one air. They only stranded a runner. Austin Keene picks up the complete game win. Brock Fulferson went the distance in the loss. He falls to 2-1. and one. The game took one hour and 14 minutes to play. Started at 426 and got over at 540 p.m. That's what you're scoring in stats. We owe you a player of the game. We're going to take a break on your Schmitz Relay Post Game Show. Come back and talk about it. Who will your Rams player of the game be today? Two on the final. Rams fall here on the road at Altsoff. This is Rams Baseball presented by Community First Bank. You need a great quality, new-to-you vehicle. There's a reason why Second Chance Auto has been helping put families into affordable, dependable vehicles for over 34 years. Honest, fair deals. Ain't nothing fancy, just great vehicles with warranties and bank rate financing for all. That's the only way Second Chance Auto will do business. They're receiving new vehicles every day. So be sure to stop by and find out how you can save thousands on the total cost of your vehicle. Helping people get out a great, dependable vehicle for over 34 years. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244 244- Registration for summer classes at Rindley College is going on now. The eight-week summer term is a great chance to catch up on classes you need from general education to electives and more. Curious about starting college or even a little nervous? Summer is a good time for new students to find out what Rindley College can do for you. Registration for summer classes continues through June 6th. Call us at 618-437-5321 or find us online at rlc.edu. Rindley College, your journey starts here. Back to Mount Vernon Rams baseball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back, WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Your Schmidt Relay post game show rolls on as the Rams fall to Altsoff two to one. Player of the game today. Wow, one of those days where uh, a lot of competition for the award will go to Brock Fulkerson. Fulkerson picked up the complete game loss, but did have the RBI single to bring in Ryan Campbell to give the Rams the only offense to speak of for today. So there you go. Rock your player of the game because of that. Got it done offensively. Almost got it done on the hill. 2-1 to one, your final. We'll do it again on Thursday. Prump to help you. 4-15 your pregame. 4-30 will be your first pitch here on WIX and WIXSports.com. For Holly Carroll, I'm Chris Shuto. I'm you the final score. About for the Rams fall with the outs off your Staters 2-1. to one. Rams are now 8-7-1 and one overall. 1-2 and two in the conference. Outs off 11-2. And now 3-0 in the South 7. Good night from Belleville. Thank you for listening to Mount Vernon Rams Baseball from WMIX Sports. Mount Vernon Rams Baseball from WMIX Sports is sponsored by the official voice of Rams Athletics, Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Rams Baseball is also sponsored in part by the Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon, Ford Square and King City Chrysler. You can count on us. Red Lake College. Save thousands on your college education.